What's up, y'all? This your boy JP's Audio Zero A coming to y'all with another how to to make your install life a little bit easier. And today we are talking about wiring up subwoofers. Why is this important? Well, if you don't wire these things up right, you're gonna mess them up and you're not gonna be happy point blade period. You can have them out of phase and then it doesn't sound right. The resistant load could be too high and then you're not getting the right amount of power going to these subs. So you're going to be underpowering the subs. They could be too low and then you could burn something up on the amp, damage your subwoofers and that's just going to be a bad day. So it's really important on knowing how to wire these subs up and how to match them to the right amplifier. Amps put out different amounts of power at different ohm levels. So a thousand watt amplifier would do a thousand at one, 750 at two, and maybe 500 watts at four ohm stable. I wanna keep this as simple as possible. So you guys see that thing right there? That is called the voice coil. That voice coil has a certain measurement of resistance. Now there's two types of subwoofers that you can buy. You have a single voice coil, which means it only has one set of positive and negatives. And then you have a dual voice coil, which means you have two sets of positive and negatives. Why is this important? Because if you have a single voice coil, there's only one way you can hook it up. If you have a dual voice coil, there is a couple different ways that you can actually wire this up. And now we're talking about series and parallel. Now series is a circuit configuration in which a single current path is arranged among all components, which means we will be adding all the coils. As where parallel is a circuit configuration with current divided amongst all the components. So that means we divide the resistance. All right, so first thing I want to do is measure the impedance or the resistance of my dual voice coil sub. There's been times to where I've actually got a, vo uh, got a voice coil. There's been times where I actually got a sub and one has read the proper amount of ohms that it was supposed to and you flip it around and then the other one's messed up. So we will measure this one uh, by putting the positive lead right here, the negative on the negative, and then we will go to our DMM. We will put it on ohms or resistance, the little omega symbol right there, and we're reading uh, 4.1 so then I will take these off swap it around and measure the other one just to make sure that we got a good dual four ohm sub can I do it with one hand eh. Eh, hell no all right, so you see it's going up and it stops at 4.1, so good. So now I know that uh, both my voice coils on this sub are reading the same resistance, so now we can get into wiring up. So as you guys can see here, man, I got my jumper. I got one going from the positive on one voice coil to the negative of the other voice coil. So this positive and this negative, I'm going to meter and see what kind of reading we get. All right, so now that I have this wired up and tested on my DM, you see that it reads eight ohms. So now this is no longer a four ohm sub. This is a eight ohm sub because I wired it in series, which means just like you read before, we're gonna be adding the voice coils together. So let's wire it up in parallel and see what we get. All right, so now that we have it wired up in parallel, which means the negative on this coil is hooked to the negative on the other one. The positive on this coil is hooked to the positive on the other one. And we are reading a one 1.9 which is basically a 2 ohm load and this is going to be better because now we'll be able to get a good clean amount of power coming from the amplifier and it's going to sound more of what it's supposed to sound like. This will make somebody way happier than wiring it up at 8 ohms. Alright guys, so that's cool if I got one woofer, but see we have two. So now, how do we wire these subs up to get the proper impedance load at the amplifier? First thing I want to show you guys is series parallel, which means we're going to series the series the wire, series the voice coils at the sub, and then we're going to parallel them at the amp. So, we have our negative terminal at this sub going to the positive terminal on this sub. So, instead of dual four, this is reading eight ohms. So I have the other sub hooked up the exact same way. Series uh, positive from here going to the negative on here and we have the positive and negative coming off. So now we're gonna join the two negatives, the two existing negatives and the two existing positives and see what ohm load we come out with. Now, this one is reading eight ohms by itself, and this read eight ohms by itself because since we series the voice coils, we added the resistances. So now we get to parallel, which means divide, and we have the two negatives right there, we have the two positives right here, and now we have a four ohm load. 
which would be pretty good going to our amplifier, especially if you're doing it for a customer or something like that. It's usually going to be at a 4 or 2 ohm load, and if your amp is 4 ohm stable, which most are, then you're getting a pretty good amount of uh, efficient power going towards the subwoofers. Me, myself, I want to drop mine down to a 1 ohm load, so we're going to actually do parallel parallel, which means we're going to parallel the voice calls on this one, and then we're going to parallel the voice calls on this one, and then parallel them at the amp. Alright guys, so now we have this in parallel, which means that our positive is hooked to the other positive on this side of the voice coil, and our negative is hooked up to that negative on that side of the voice coil, and we are reading two ohms. So now we're going to take these two, two ohm subwoofers and wire them down to get our final impedance going towards the amp. Alright guys, so now that both woofers are parallel inside the enclosure and parallel at the amplifier, we have an ending impedance of 1 ohms or 0.9 which you round it up and go to 1. So that's what we're going to be running to my amplifier, a 1 ohm load. Alright y'all, hope I helped y'all out with how to wire up these subs. This is just going to be a little quick sneak peek of my next video. Did some free air with the Tesla 10. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Until next time, it's JP's Auto 08 signing out.